Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. I hope you're keeping safe and well. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. It's really nice to meet you. A couple of things. First things, I probably look like trash. I've literally just thrown the quickest makeup on ever and done my hair because it is currently 20 to 9 in the evening and I wanted to just film and get it over and done with. The reason I'm filming so late brings me on to my second point which is I now have a box light. I'm hoping that you can't see it in the reflection of this mirror. But I now have a box light. Um, I decided with, oh, hang on, let me just move you down a bit because I feel like you're really high. I decided with one of some of my Christmas money I got from my family that I wanted to invest in a box light to make my videos a bit brighter. And it also means I can film at this time of night and it won't be as bad. So I'm hoping this looks okay. Find out in the edit, I'm gonna play around with it. But for now, this will do. So this is why I'm filming so late because I was waiting for this to get here. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all good. Today's video is going to be, I'm going to show you a few of my favourite Harry Potter things that I got for Christmas that I've bought recently myself because I want to show a bit of Harry Potter love to the world because I'm becoming obsessed with it again. Uh, I go through phases, I mean I always love Harry Potter but I go through phases of like being gen like really really obsessed and I'm on Harry Potter TikTok, like it just keeps coming off my TikTok for you page so I feel like I have to show you some of these bits so first things first I am going to show you I said this till last so I'm going to show you this candle that I got I feel like I have shown you this before um because I feel like I showed you some of the wax melts I also got from this candle company but this is a Draco Malfoy candle so obviously inspired by Draco Malfoy and it smells if I can open it ah oh it smells so good I can't even explain the scent to you but there's like a hint of apple and I just I love it so much so this sits up here on my little background I'm not sure if that's even in shot but anyway there's some things up here oh my lord Jesus Christ I just kicked the tripod and the tripod nearly fell with the camera and also my new bloody box light nearly fell over as well Jesus Christ be careful Katie god damn it okay because I keep crossing and I'm crossing my legs just sit still so for Christmas I got this from one of my work colleagues uh, two of my work colleagues actually she said she saw this and she had to get it for me because she knows I love Harry Potter and I opened it and I was like oh my god it's adorable it's this little head wig <laughs> but, and it looks sort of like a Funko Pop but it's actually a little hand cream so it's really really cute I feel a bit bad that I like sort of take his head off to like get the hand cream but I love this and the hand cream by the way smells so nice it's really good quality as well it's from Boots I believe um yeah it says it's from Boots on the bottom so yes yeah, this little head wig and he sits next to my bed so I use the hand cream and once I've finished with the hand cream I'm just going to clean it out and I'm going to keep him on my little Harry Potter shelf because he's just so cute I haven't got a head wig Funko Pop so I feel like this um will be a cute like little alternative I can see little like things flying around and I'm not sure if it's my eyes getting used to the thing or not <laughs> if it is then it is I don't really what are you saying shut up moving on <laughs> so, I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I possibly can because I'm tired and I want to shower and I want to go to bed but I also want to film because uh, I've got to edit this tonight and get it uploaded tonight um, so that it's up for tomorrow you don't need to know that. Anyway, next up, I also got this for Christmas. This is from my parents. So this is this gorgeous um, makeup bag. And I actually saw that my mum got this for someone, a member of our family for Christmas. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. And I was like, oh, I really need that. And my mum was like, told me ages ago, like, oh, maybe don't buy it. And I completely forgot about it. So when I opened it on Christmas, I was like, oh my God. So it's got the Hogwarts castle on. It's this stunning navy blue. You've got the little Hogwarts crest on here and on the back it says Hogwarts is my home and Hogwarts is my home Hogwarts and Disneyland are my homes oh I want to go to Disney and Hogwarts I can't wait till stuff opens back up again this whole thing is over and I can go to the studio tour again because I still haven't seen Gringotts yet because they were closed um and we can rebook Disney Anyway, that's enough sad points. This is again another thing I got from my parents, also I believe from the Boots Harry Potter Christmas collection. It is this little set of four 
body sprays. So you've got the four houses. So you've got Gryffindor, Slytherin. I'm trying to do this and show you without dropping them all. Hufflepuff. Is that Hufflepuff? Yeah, Hufflepuff. <laughs> and Ravenclaw. And these are really nice. So they're little like body sprays. It says they're fragrance sprays, like perfume, but they don't last as long as normal perfume. But I use them as like body sprays. So I just spray a little bit. And I just feel all happy. I love, love, love the Gryffindor one. I know that is my house. So I'm a bit biased, but I do love it. But I do love all of them. Um, but I have used the Gryffindor one the most. Oh, Jesus. It just dropped out the floor. Just dropped out the floor. It's fine. Everything's fine. That's just fizzed up. Right, let's just pop them over there on the bed. And we can uh, sort that out after. Uh, next up. Okay, so I'm going to show you some Funko Pops. And then I'll show you the last thing. This is going to be a really, really quick video. I haven't bought a lot of Harry Potter stuff recently because I have bought more Disney stuff because of my Disney Instagram account. But I do want to grow my Harry Potter collection. So I've been growing my Funko Pop collection of my Harry Potter stuff because I have more Disney than Harry Potter. And we need to grow them. So first of all, I, don't, I can't remember if I've showed you this or not. I did buy this quite a long time ago. So if I have, apologies. But I have been loving it again, so I'm going to show it again. And that is this Funko Pop of Harry with the little invisibility cloak. And the detail on this is absolutely stunning. Like, the detail on his cloak is just gorgeous. So he's in his little pyjamas. So it's obviously the Christmas Day one where he gets the cloak from Dumbledore. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. So I love him. I've rearranged my Harry Potter shelves recently. Um and moved some of the Funko Pops around because I'm running out of room on my bottom shelf with my Disney ones and my Harry Potter ones. So I moved some of them around and I was like rediscovering some of my favourite Funkos because I've got three of the trio that I've put along the top. I have like several different versions of the trio. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're all like, I've got three of them on the top. I've got the twins on the top. I've got Ginny on the top. And I just, I loved like looking at them. I love Funko Pops. The only trouble with Funko Pops, if you are a Funko Pop collector, you will understand this, is that when you knock one of them down, it's like dominoes and they all fall down and then you spend ages trying to pick them all up. And just as you're finishing picking them up, another one goes down and they all go down again. So that's really frustrating. But I have blue tacked some of them onto my um, cabinet because they just kept falling over and some of them are really like weighted weird. So, but yeah, that's... I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, next up, I'm going to show you another member of the Golden Trio, and that is Hermione. So I got this gorgeous Hermione Funko Pop from B&M, and I always look at the Funko Pops in B&M, and they never have um, Disney or Harry Potter. And I just happened to be like, oh, just have a look, and I found this absolutely gorgeous one. And she's like, it's the Leviosa scene. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa, that one. Um, where she's got her feather and I've not seen this Funko Pop before so when I saw it and it was 4 99 and if you collect Funko Pops you know that some of them are like £10 plus so this was 4 99 and I was like get out of the way I'm buying this Funko Pop uh, she was the only one there so I'm very glad I bought her because they, did, they didn't have any more of her when I went back the next time another one that I also got from B&M also for 4 99 which they didn't have when I got the Hermione one they did have when I go in there. By the way, I go to B&M a lot. I like B&M. Uh, I only go in if I actually need something, though, like cleaning things, and then I just happen to buy everything else. Anyway, and that is this Ron <laughs> Funko Pop. It's the scene where he pukes up the slugs, so he looks really ill, and I think the detail on this is crazy. So you've got him looking really ill, and you've got slugs in the bucket, and he's just in his little school robes. And I initially didn't want this Funko Pop because I didn't want to pay, like... 10 plus pound for him because I was a bit like meh but when he was 4 99 I was like hum I'm gonna need him and he is I believe my third Ron Funko Pop I have this one the one with the howler and I have him in his Yule Ball outfit and I believe the Yule Ball outfit is the first Ron I got um Hermione again I have the one I just showed you, the Prisoner of Azkaban one, her as a cat, and then I have another plain one of her in her school uniform. Harry, I believe I only have two of. Yeah, I have normal Harry in his robes, and then that Harry with the invisibility cloak. Um, but yeah, so I have got quite a few versions of the Golden Trio, but I just can't help myself when it comes to Funko Pops. 
Another member that I consider as part of like the main characters. A lot of people didn't like her in the film, but loved her in the book. But I loved her in both because I feel like I am her. And that is Ginny Weasley. So I got this for Christmas from my parents. I have one Ginny Weasley Funko Pop, which is her flying on a broomstick, which I'm pretty sure I showed you before. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have showed you her before. But I got this one, and this is her in her Yule Ball outfit, and she looks absolutely gorgeous. I love her little outfit. I love the detail on it. And I also love the little, like, pink bow detail in her hair, and I just think she's stunning. And I am her. We are one. I would give anything to be Ginny Weezy. Like, look at even her little, like, freckles around her nose. I'm really hoping you can see those. But yeah, she is the second Ginny Weezy I have, because she is one of my favourite characters, so I had to have another one of her um yeah next up i got these in tesco's and i've seen these before and online and they were like really expensive but these were 10 pound in tesco and i was like hun treat yourself um because normally they're a lot more and this is two of the patronus funko pops let me bring it towards the light so you can actually see it so you've got this one here which is the otter is that the otter yeah this is the otter patronus which is hermione granger's patronus and these are so cool, like the colouring on them is just so cool and they look exactly how the Patronus should look so I'm completely obsessed with them. And then I've also got the little dog, I believe it's a Border Collie, I don't wanna, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it's Ron Weasley's Patronus and I just think they're so beautiful. I know they also do a stag and I believe they do other people's Patronuses as well. The stag is Harry's Patronus by the way. Um, but I saw these two. And these were the only Patronuses they had. And I had to get them because they were just absolutely stunning. Just look at them. Like the detail on these, I just can't. I just can't deal with it. I want all the Patronuses. I love, I'd love. i love to cast the Patronus. How amazing would that be? But then again, I'm not happy enough. <laughs> I'm totally joking. I'm totally joking. So next up, uh, the final thing actually is this stunning thing. I ordered this um, a little while ago. By the way, I just want to make a point of saying that just because I like Harry Potter, most of the stuff I try to buy isn't branded. I know a lot of the stuff in this video is. However, some of most of it I was gifted um, by family and friends and stuff um, because I don't support JK Rowling and I don't support her views on the trans community and anything like that so I want to make a point of saying that um however I did buy this wand because I couldn't resist buying this wand um so they released uh, an exclusive design collection from the Harry Potter Wizarding World wand and this I'm hoping you can see it is the Gryffindor mascot wand Obviously I had to get the Gryffindor wand because I am a Gryffindor and I think this wand is absolutely stunning. So it comes in this gorgeous box. You've got a little card here that explains what the Gryffindor mascot is. So I'll just read it out. It says, inspired by the bold and mighty animal of Gryffindor House, the Gryffindor mascot wand celebrates courage and daring in the face of conflict. Perfect for all proud Gryffindors. This design is for those who valiantly roar into the unknown. It's got the little Gryffindor crest on the back and the little Gryffindor mascot, obviously, which is the lion, for those of you that don't know. And this wand, when I tell you when I saw it, I almost cried and I had to buy it for myself um, because it's just stunning. So, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so here it is. It's this gorgeous, like, sort of redwood sort of vibe. So it's like, um, I'm really hoping you can see it and that it's focusing on it. But then at the end of it, is this gorgeous lion head that is carved into the wand. So it's like the, li the lion's face here, which I'm really hoping you can see. And then like the mane of the lion is like the handle of the wand. So that's the bit that you hold. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so obsessed with it. I'm really hoping it's picking up on the camera okay. But it's absolutely stunning. And it's an amazing wand and I for sure I'm going to be using this if I ever cosplay as Ginny, which I would love to do. I have done it once before on my Instagram, but it wasn't, I mean, it was a Halloween costume, not really like a full cosplay, but this is just incredible. I love it so much. It's really like weighted as well. So like the quality is amazing. 
the same as all my other Wizarding World ones. And I got this on the Platform 9 and 3 quarter shop. And I believe they still have them. I believe they have every house. They also have some magical creatures. I know they've got Thestral ones. Um, I feel like they have a Buckbeak wand. I might be making that up. I know they've got a Hogwarts Castle wand, which is also stunning. And I really, really want that as well. And they also have the Sword of Gryffindor wand. So they've got the, um, like, Horcrux one. So you've got the Sword of Gryffindor, the um, Carp, the Raven Ravenclaw's Diadem and stuff like that. Rowena Ravenclaw. Rowena Ravenclaw's Diadem. Oh, my God, I really struggled there. But, yeah, that is absolutely stunning. It was about £30, um, but I'd wanted it for a while, so I thought I'm just going to buy myself it because I love Harry Potter ones and it makes a great addition to my collection. So that is it. This was a really, really quick video. Uh so sorry about that <laughs> um i just wanted a quick video i just wanted to show you some of my harry potter things that i love and hopefully you guys love some of them too um but yeah i've got some videos planned for the next few weeks i've made some organization notes and stuff and some planning so i'm really looking forward to that really looking forward to hopefully my videos being a bit better quality with the light and it means i can film at this time of night and it shouldn't be a problem if I end up filming a bit later, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you did, it would really mean a lot. Subscribe to my channel, it would also mean a lot. I hope you are all okay and safe, and I will see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs>